So this month was a really weird month for thrift haul stuff. First of all, I got quite sick for like a week this month, so that means no thrifting for a week. And I also had a lot of time this month to think kind of about where I wanted my life to go and where I wanted my aesthetic to go and how I just wanted to appear in the world. And after having that big old think, I became a lot more selective with what I let into my life, like from the thrift store and whatever. So what I'm basically trying to get at is this May thrift haul is a lot smaller than my previous April one, but I am really, really excited about a couple of the things on this haul. So why don't we get through all of the little stuff so that you can see the big stuff that I got, because it's pretty sweet. So we'll start with the first little category. I didn't actually have this category in my previous thrift haul video, but it is the book category. So first book, how to have difficult conversations. Basically, it's a book that just walks you through a step-by-step -step approach um, to have your on how to huh? on how to have your toughest conversations with less stress and more success, which I thought was really interesting. I'm starting to kind of realize more and more that there's a lot that we aren't really taught explicitly or like exclusively growing up especially just like navigating relationships and how to deal with yourself and how to just be productive when maybe there's something inside that doesn't feel so right and feels a little icky and you want to talk to someone about it. Um, and it's also, I thought, just a great, it's probably going to be a great tool for me to know because I think a lot of the times when we're having those difficult conversations, it's hard to be productive with it and not just kind of word vomit our feelings out and then feel better but then never come to a conclusion on how to fix the problem to not have that difficult conversation again. So... Book number one. Book number two. I've never heard of this book. I looked it up on Google and I couldn't really find any reviews on this book. It was, this is a book, the copy is from 1969, which is cool. But what drew me to the book is when I opened the pages, I found a bunch of exercises basically that will just get you really clear on, I guess like what you want or like what's in your head. And I find that very useful because personally I am a very fast-paced person. I don't take a lot of time to stop and think of what's going on in my head and even sometimes when I do stop and think about what's in my head it's really hard to kind of decipher it and even understand what's going on in the background so I find any of these books that have little tips and tricks and little exercises that you can do it not only slows me down to like think about what's in my head but it also gives me some kind of direction so I'm not forced with all this stuff trying to figure it out at once. So that's book number two. Um, how to get what you want, Raymond Toll. And the last book is this book from Ram Das. It is Remember Be Here Now. I don't really know what to call Ram Das if you don't know him. I've listened to some of his little spiels on YouTube and he's more, I think you'd consider him like a spiritual teacher. This book I think is just kind of on like enlightenment, spiritual stuff. It's a little, little hippie book. Um, there's some cool little drawings in it. There are words in it. And there's also like a more booky part in the back, but half the, all these brown pages are like all of these little little drawings. So I thought that was cool. I thought it would probably have something to offer. That's the third book. Next category I also did not have in my previous uh, thrift haul, and it might be a little weird, but I'll explain. Bed sheets. <laughs> I got two sets of bed sheets. Now. I got these two sets of bed sheets because I have been playing and toying with the idea of trying to make my own clothes from scratch. I do quite a bit of like thrift alterations, I guess, but I've never made anything other than in like home ec class <laughs> in grade like eight. I made a pair of like boxer shorts for bed, um, but I've never made anything from scratch and I thought it would be fun, but fabric is so expensive. So I found these sheets at the thrift store. They're both 100% cotton. This one's pretty thin material. I don't know if you can tell how thin that is. Um, but I got a, a flat sheet and a fitted sheet of the same material. And then I got this pink one as well. This one's organic cotton, which is cool. I don't know how I found that. Um, it's a little bit stiffer, but I think it'd be really cute to make like a, either a longer dress or like a tiered skirt or something. So stay updated for that. This next thing kind of goes with these bed sheets and it's this which is super awkward because it has this really long stick on it it's this dress form so weird thing you might be wondering that is such a good thrift find I don't know how you found that at a thrift store well 
I hate to break it to you, but I actually didn't find her at a thrift store, but let me explain. I found the material to make her at a thrift store. This used to be a, like a seat cover. It's like this canvassing material. Um, and backstory, I've been wanting, like I said, to make my own clothes. So I was looking at dress forms, but dress forms are like easily $400. And I'm not about to spend $400 on something when I don't know if it's even something that I enjoy or want to do. So I found this website that you can put in your custom measurements and they will send you a customized, uh, what, what, what would you call it? Like a pattern for a dress form, which is cool. So I was thinking of like, plastering my body to get the perfect shape or like there are people that duct tape their bodies and then like take the duct tape off and then make a dress for them but I figured I'd pay 26 bucks to get you know the pattern and then just make one without having to like plaster or duct tape myself up so I bought this canvassing material from the thrift store I got the polyester filling just from some pillows that I bought and then on the inside there's like an insert you can probably see that she's a little like more squished here that's because there's like a retaining wall that goes through her middle so that when you stuff it, it goes outwards instead of like all outwards. It kind of keeps her snatched. And I got that from like an old pair of denim. And then this pole was just hanging out in the garage and the zippers I bought new. But other than that, this dress form cost me probably like f between 40 and $60, which is a lot more affordable than, you know, buying a $600 dress form. And it's basically all secondhand, which is sweet. So that's why it's in the thrift haul is because I found most of the stuff secondhand. So moving on from the dress form, she'll just hang out back there. I don't know if that's weird, but ignore her. Next, we're moving into clothing, which I didn't get a lot of, honestly, this this month. I got this little cami. This It's silk. It is from Florian. I think it is like an anthropology brand, but I think it's pretty old. It doesn't exactly fit me the way that I want it, so right now I'm just using it as like a sleeping shirt because silk feels so nice and you just feel rich when you wear silk. But I'll fix this eventually and eventually it'll be like a going out situation. Got that from Goodwill. Next, got this one from Play-Doh's Closet. It is this butternut colored romper. It is wide legged. This one is not my size, so I'm gonna have to do some alterations on this one as well. I'm just gonna take in the sides. I think I'm gonna leave the legs as big and wide as they are, because I, I like that. But there's another little thrift flip I wanna do with this guy because it's a little bit too orange with the boots that I wanna wear it with or the shoes that I wanna wear it with. So I'm thinking of either trying to bleach it or trying to dye it to make it a little more muted. Like if it was muted like my shirt, I feel like that would be nice. It's just a little bit intense because the boots are a little bit orange that I wanna wear with them. So stay updated for that. If I try and do anything to this, I'm sure I'll make a video because it's either going to turn out well, which will be good for people to see because they'll be like, hey, now I can do that to my stuff or it'll turn out very badly and it'll like serve as a warning so that you guys don't mess up your nice clothes. And lastly, we found this skirt. So I've been doing a lot of, you know, thinking about where I want my style to go and skirts was something I'm interested in but don't have a lot of. And I'm also trying to only really buy like natural. <coughs> I'm sick. I'm so sick. I'm getting over it though. Um, but like natural fibers, flowy fibers, just like good quality stuff and not cheap stuff, which I usually don't. But anyways, I'm rambling. So I got this skirt, just kind of like flowy at the end. It gets a little bit bigger. It is from Talbot. I think they're a good brand. 100% linen. It still has a tag on it. And I got it for 15 bucks. Now this one is also not my size, but it'll be really easy to take in. I'll just basically fold this in and sew it down with the lining and yeah, it'll be solid. Now I think it's on to my, my last and favorite and biggest purchase. So remember how I was saying with the skirt, I've been doing more thinking about things that I want. And I realized other than skirts, another big area that I'm kind of lacking in or missing is footwear because I have I have Birkenstocks I have Blundstones I have Chacos but those are all very like casual and I don't really have any footwear that's really I guess powerful or makes me feel like Ugh. you know what I mean so I was looking at some boots and I was thinking boots that look and feel powerful Doc Martens they're just kind of like rebellious and they're so cool right now and always they're kind of something that stays in style but if you know me you probably know I don't love the color black 
on myself. I don't really wear black. And I also don't like silver. And I was looking at the Jaden boots, but they only come in black. They come in that maroon color and then they come in like stark white. It's like, shoot, I just want brown. <laughs> I want the brown. But then I found boots that were brown, but they're sold out everywhere other than this like scammy website that sends people socks instead of the shoes that they ordered, but still takes their money, which I learned from reviews and did not order from them. But I found the boots that I wanted on Poshmark. So they are the Doc Martin Leona boot. And this is the butterscotch color. I got it from a seller, fun fact, who lives four hours away from me. So as soon as she accepted the offer that we went back and forth between, she sent them off and I got them three days later. So I think it's just perfectly meant to be. They're my size, they're like the only ones that exist left that you can buy. They're my size and they're four hours away from me. So these were super sick. I did pay more than thrift store price for these. I paid like all together after shipping. It was probably like 180 Canadian, which is a little bit steep, but Doc Martens last forever. I can always resell them if I'm not into them and probably not lose that much money. And the lever, the lever, the leather, it looks a little worn, I guess, like on camera, but in person, it's just broken in. And if I condition it, then I can make them look brand spanking new. So there are these, and I'm also in the works of finding some sandals, but I am, I'm so excited about these. And these also have like the brass detailing too. That's not even silver, which is, which is amazing so good and they're platforms and I'm so tall when I wear them and it's just unreal and it's great so that is all for today thank you so much for joining me I'm sorry I've been gone for so long but I've done a lot of thinking and a lot of growth and you know mental health is important and blah 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 so I'm back but I'll see you in the next one and thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join me here today so yeah. that's all